हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ एलिया आर सांडने असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक फ्रीक्वेंसी जनरेशन पार्ट टू फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन सो दिस इन दिस द लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस टॉपिक्स यू विल कम टू नो और यू कैन डिजाइन एफ एंड पी एम बाय डिफरेंट मेथड्स also you can describe the different applications of fm and pm as well as you can discuss the limitations of fm generation system so generation of fm is done in two ways first one is the direct method second one is the indirect method the direct method includes reactance modulator and varactor diode method whereas the indirect method includes armstrong's generation method the reactance modulator generally includes this circuit so this circuit basically it is a two stage amplifier circuit this is the first stage and this is the second stage here <coughs> here the audio input is given to the first stage amplifier and the carrier is generated in this circuit by itself and the output is generally taken across the RECB configuration here the cc generally acts as a coupling capacitor which then is connected to the second stage here the rfc here the two rfcs are used these are generally the inductors which are used for the tuning of the first stage and the second stage transistorized amplifier here the the cc which provides the coupling output to the second stage here in this second stage there are variations in the frequency with respect to the carrier which is being generated and and the output is generally given to the lc tank circuit where c1 and c2 and a variable capacitor is used this generally provides a tuning circuit at which the output is taken that is the fm generated output is taken across the secondary windings the capacitor c and c1 and c2 are tuned to a particular frequency at which we get or we want the particular output here this circuit is majorly used in the communication type of the application varactor diode modulator here this circuit majorly consists of a varactor diode which is the shown here at d1 the modulating input is given through the coupling capacitor c3 and which then passes through the rfc coil or the inductor which is tuned for a particular frequency the r1 and r2 generally provides the biasing for the total circuit when the when the positive peak of the signal goes to the varactor or passes through the varactor diode and to the through the capacitor c2 the c2 charge c2 starts charging and then at a particular point that is at the negative stage of the signal it discharges the varactor diode generally maintains the current of the maintains the current that is id uh, for a period and then the output is taken across the l1 and c1 capacitor the generally the l1 c1 acts as a tank circuit where the output is taken and it is then given to the carrier oscillator so this is the working of the varactor diode modulator similarly fm transmitter generally includes the armstrong method this method is generally known as the indirect method in this first the signal is converted into the first the signal is converted into the am signal and then it is given to the or converted into the frequency modulated wave here the carrier is provided by the crystal oscillator this is then given to the buffer which then gives to the combining network 
here basically the combined network has a second out second input through the audio equalizer which is nothing but a modulating signal which is then given to the balanced modulator here balanced modulator gives a output of a single side band only because here it has a another input of 90 degree phase shift due to which only a single side band is passed to the combining network hence the combining network combines the single stage single side band and the carrier and according to the AF or the side band the carrier is varied in accordance with the frequency of the single side band then it is given to the first group of multiplier where the where the carrier uh, carrier frequency and the modulation index is maintained in this first group and then it is again given to the mixer here the mixer has uh, another input from the carrier oscillator because here the uh, the signal in the mixer has a very low carrier frequency and hence it becomes necessary to give the carrier signal by which the frequency of the carrier will vary in accordance with the with the sideband of the modulating signal here it is then again given to the second group of multiplier so that we get a high carrier frequency and a modulation index hence the output is taken across the class c power amplifier where the power of the signal which is a fm generated signal is increased before transmitting and hence it is transmitted by using a transmitting antenna so what are the limitations of direct method first in this method it is very difficult to get high order stability in carrier frequency secondly as a basic oscillator is used the circuit is not stable and hence it is controlled by using a modulating signal thirdly in this method we get distorted fm due to non-linearity of the varactor diode which is in terms of the current and the discharging of the capacitor next what are the advantages disadvantages and applications of fm basically the advantages of fm are transmitted power remains constant in this type of generation technique fm receivers are immune to the noise that means noise can get easily affected when the signal passes through the channel and gets received at the receiver it has a good capture effect no mixing of signals can be done in the fm what are the disadvantages of fm the greatest disadvantage of fm are it is it uses much of the spectrum space the bandwidth here required is more that is the bandwidth is wider modulation index can be kept low to minimize the bandwidth which can be used but reduction in modulation index reduces the noise amenity it is used only for the very high frequencies that is vhf and uhf applications of fm here fm can be used in radio broadcasting secondly sound transmission in tv police wireless and fm can also be generated by using the ic566 so this is the circuit diagram so you have to tell the operation of fm that is discuss the operation in which fm can be generated by using ic566 for this you can refer the previous slide and nextly you have to discuss the advantages disadvantages and limitations of direct and indirect fm method fm generation method so these are the references for you people for the fur further study thank you for watching the video